wow, this is crappy quality, but, um, hey guys, it's Hayes Fat Fat here. I'm doing a video response to JSTAR's networking connections. Um, I didn't have enough space below in the comments, so I'll just basically restart what I was saying. Um, so I'm 19, and I've been collecting since I was 12. Um, and my very first pair of Jordans was the Black Toe 14s. Now I understand that according to everybody's standards now, Black Toe 14s are nothing special. They're along the lines of the Stealth Threes or whatever you want to whatever you want to throw out. Um, but basically, those were my first pair of Jordans. Um, along with networking, when I was 12, there wasn't 12, 13, 14. There wasn't really any of these. Facebook websites or Craigslist that anybody knew. The only couple of spots there were were, I don't know, retail stores, eBay, and basically garage sales, yard sales. Um, so as Facebook as Facebook progressed and people started using it more for the social aspect of collecting shoes and selling shoes and trading shoes like NDSBG, Nike Talk, Cream, whatever area that you're in that sells shoes on the internet, um, I basically became more exposed to all these different types of names like the Miros or the Bins or back then, what was, there, there were Fusions back then, that's when the Fusions started coming out, but Fusions weren't big, um, what year was that, 07, so that 07, 08, so that was like the grape year, um, the fire at three year, all of those. Um, wasn't a, there wasn't as many new kids that are joining now, so it was basically just a ton of just completely old stuff. Um, but yeah, basically what I did is I would sit there and I wouldn't I wouldn't comment unless I was buying, but if they were posting like a legit check or a price check, I would essentially just watch. I would just observe. I would observe what they point out as fake, uh, what makes it real, what I have to look for. Also, I, I, I uh, started watching JSTAR's videos um, a couple years back, legit checking how to legit check the fives or the sevens or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, I basically just observed um, for a year, year or two. Um, then I basically just got really comfortable with everything. But how to legit check one through, you know, fourteen or fifteen or whatever you want to go up to. Um, my networking base has actually expanded through friends that I've met over the internet. Um, like I know this one guy, um, Cedric. He's a retired policeman in Atlanta. Always looks out for me. If he sees a good deal, if he knows that there's something in my size range, because we're not in the size range, he wears like 12s and 13s, and I'm um, 10 and a half to 11 and a half. If there's something in my size range, he'll, be, he'll hook me up. He'll be like, hey man, um, these are a steel price. You know, my boy's selling them. If you want them, let me know. I'll get them, and then you can pay me back. So we have a common trust, so I never really have to fully, like, you know, I'm never in a desperation for shoes because I have my connections. I've set relationships with different people that are technically older OG heads that, you know, they're still in the game, but it doesn't really matter to them as much. So, I mean, like JSTAR said, it is essential for networking because nowadays everything is basically hype. Um, if you're wanting to pay seventy, eighty dollars over retail, then be my guest. But I personally would never pay over retail for anything worn. If you wore it once, I don't, I don't claim it as anything to be over retail because you know it, it lost its value regardless of the hype. Um, so that's basically what I wanted to say. Quick shout out to. Um, to J Star, sorry the video quality is so bad. Um, I'll record with my camera next time, and I'm out.